Summons into an air. Another Nair just sending Spanky so far. Okay, up tilt, but not, again, not going to be able to really chase with those up airs. Especially with these higher percents, yes, up tilt is going to put you in like in the air where you are in danger to like getting hit by an up smash or an up air. But at the same time, you know, you, you can still escape. And just like that, Kamehameha going to land that back air. Okay, throwing out these Metal Blades once again. You're going to see nice. an up throw. Where's the chase going to be? Oh, spot dodges, but Spanky just not with the reaction time. Exactly. I feel like he was a little more scared to just try to challenge Kamehameha because he knows he might throw a Metal Blade downward. He might land with Leaf Shield. So I wanted to check and see what he was going to do first. But unfortunately, sometimes you got to risk it for the biscuit. And that's what Kamehameha was going to do. He just risks it for the biscuit, gets the back air, Spanky with a good tech, and he's get the forward air, and that might be curtains for Fox, but he just reaches from the depths. No. Oh. Firefox goes so far. Okay, escaping the ledge with the forward air just as a barrage of back airs come his way. You're going to see a down throw. Interesting. And then now chasing with back airs, using the wall jump, and taking the saw blade right back. Does he have his jump? Ooh, okay. He did have his jump. Even stalling out on the side of the ledge with the directional air dodge. Take Reese taking center stage with the leaf shield. Yeah. Oh, oh, the parry into <laughs> up tilt! Yo, man, you look hit by the Umahara Classic. Hey, That's some straight Street Fighter that, stuff that, right that, there. He was like, pow! Yeah, that was, man, the Daigo pa, Umahara. Pah, sure you can. I'm telling you, dude. The <laughs> Umahara Classic, man. Maymay just channeled the inner Daigo. We all channel that inner Daigo every oh, time man. we get a parry and a punish, dude. We he all unleashed the beast. He unleashed the beast, man. You know, I wonder if they've ever, like, Hung out with Daigo and like just sit in a room, talk esports for an hour or so. Cause I know, I know sometimes they have like a little. Sounds like the dream. Right? <laughs> okay, well, Spanky, uh, with the character switch, putting Fox away, and now bringing out the Pokemon trainer. And of course, you know, opting for a stage with like much smaller blast zones. Yeah. And honestly, like this stage layout is gonna help, uh, gonna help Spanky try and weave around these lemons. He also has withdrawal, which has a little bit of uh, armor there that you would mm -hmm. just go through Mega Man. But the one thing that I do like the Kamehameha is doing, he's always relentless with the lemons. He's making sure, like, okay, if you're going to go for an option, it has to go for an arrow because you want to avoid the lemons at most part. Right. Okay, Leech Shield coming out. And the down air is going to clip Kamehameha. Very interesting. Yeah. With every Mega Man main, you always want to up B before you go for a jump because you save your jump that way and it gives you a little bit more vertical recovery. Mm -hmm. Even a little bit of a mix up as well. Yeah. How do you feel about this? Do you ever think that this matchup would happen? We have Squirtle. We had Squirtle versus Mega Man. Uh, the inner kid in me would have cried <laughs> seeing the trailer for Mega Man versus Charizard or just in general. Because, <laughs> like, this is two series that I've loved since a child. So I would have, like, I would have cried, man. If you would have told me, like, if you would have told Lance at six years old, like, one day you'll be able to play a fire, uh, Charizard versus Mega Man, <laughs> I would have cried. I would have leaped on my chair. I would have been like, yo, man. <laughs> I'll give you every single one. like a I very have. emotional child. Yes, I was. <laughs> 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 I love the Mega Man so much. That was like my favorite character. It's it's. Well, I have a lot of history with the character. But anyways, good back air from Kamehameha. He's going to show Smanky a little bit of history of what it's like to get hit by that. Yeah, of course, you know, especially like with the Flare Blitz landing on the platform. It's kind of unfortunate for Spanky because it did put him in that lag, like that ending lag mm -hmm. of being the, the grounded um, Flare Blitz. Nice, good conditioning to get Spanky to just open up for that grab. Okay, back, back throw, throw and just, yep, get him out of here. The back throw from Ivysaur is just so strong. And now we see Charizard, I mean, Squirtle, back in action. Mm -hmm. He's so <laughs> playing so safe, just... You know, that's what I've always noticed about Team Japan. They always play so safe. They are very, very, like, used to seeing your commitments. Some mm -hmm. would even argue, like, they like to play a little bit more lame, a little bit more, like, slow, so uh -huh. because they want to make sure that they have the right reaction, the right timing. Right. And then They definitely want to be the person that pushes the button second. Exactly. They want you to push it first. Oh, I'm so glad that conversion's still in the game. Metal Blade into back air. Yeah. Oh. I'm not going to lie. Kamehameha just makes me want to pick up Mega Man again. Dude, that's that's the power of top players, you know. Exactly. They're like, hey, look at this cool thing I can do. Oh, I can't but do it either, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you you want to try and do it, you can. I mean, you can try, but I mean, 
Yeah. You're not a super while. fighting robot. Exactly. <laughs> Try, but I did it first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Looks like Spanky's opting for more of a projectile war with mm -hmm. Ivysaur. Good use of Razor Leaf um, to really combat like the, the long distance that Kamehameha's been putting out. Yeah, that's one thing Ivysaur does have in his toolkit. He's able to use Razor Leaf to close the distance and able to use that Nair to the up B. Spanky with a little bit of a breather, but Kamehameha comes immediately right in with the invincibility from the Angel platform. Interesting. I mean, yeah, you want to switch oh. to Squirtle because like you obviously want to get in Kamehameha's face and like stay, um, you know, putting out those low percent combos. But at the same time, you're doing great with Ivysaur. Why switch? Yeah. Especially when you're at 91%. Okay, bringing out the Ivysaur. 61. Throw out the Vine Whip, but it up air is going to connect. Oh, these Vine Whips are getting so close, but they're not finding their mark. Okay, throwing out more Razor Leafs. These back airs are being well spaced. Kamehameha is not having any any of this. Yeah. Oh. Spanky looking to probably take a game here, and so far Kamehameha is moving a little more, more cautiously now that the percents are kind of evened up. Oh. Yo, the, oh, you hold up. I was going to say, Kamehameha, that was some cojones. Like, he just threw Metal Blade and ran in. No he respect. He also, like, actually, the stage worked in his favor because he dipped low and was go able to low profile oh. the, the Metal or yeah. the Razor Leaf, which allowed him to set up for that back air. But now, using the Clash Grenade. Uh, cl crash Bomber. Clash oh, and bomber. the Down Smash, and he got set at an awkward angle. Spanky takes one game over Kamehameha. Okay, so Spanky, you know, a little bit of fight in him. Yeah. I wasn't sure about the Pokemon Switch, but it's definitely working out. It They're is, def it is. And, of course, you know, that taking that game was a uh, did have a little bit of help from the stage. Yes, You did kill from sure. across <laughs> stage, and, you know, Yoshi's has a smaller blast zone. The one thing, too. Small assist. <laughs> small, small assist. Small blast zone, small Sid, tiny Sid. We all work together. <laughs> she probably told Sakurai, I slept him with 20. He's like, here, make the stage small. <laughs> <laughs> make it stay small and make it legal next game. You know, for the leader or the mother of Yoshi's, I don't doubt it. Yeah, exactly, right? Can you imagine all it took to convince Sakurai? Just 20, just 20 bucks? Yeah. US? Yeah. Huh. I think the, the end. The I feel end. like I could have had Cloud Nair back. <laughs> I would have slipped, slipped that man a bill, maybe. <laughs> Hopefully, he can pay for the best. But you know what? Who's got $100 right now? Is Spanky. He definitely feels like he got $100 because he took a game over Kamehameha here and it's not 1 1 a piece. Mm -hmm. Sticking to the Pokemon Trainer and now using the Water Gun to really just create some space between them and then retake stage control. Squirtle swerfing his way all the way into Kamehameha's face. Yeah. Back throw, nice. Sets up the Metal Blade here and then looking to close up the gap a little. Okay, a couple of lemons. I did mention how Spiky can't use that withdraw to move into Kamehameha, but the problem is the analog from it switching to the Ivysaur. In this matchup here, I feel like Ivysaur kind of benefits a little bit because mm -hmm. the both characters do so great in the mid-range, but Ivysaur just has a little bit of an edge in terms of disjoints with mid-range. As Mega Man, he has to uh, approach a little bit with, with the, those projectiles. Right, right, right. Okay, well, Kamehameha retaking stage control and being able to combo uh, Metal Blade into forward air, even going very deep trying to land the back air. You know, he's trying to extend his lead as far as possible right now, take this stock, and then he can be a little bit more relaxed uh, with a stock lead. But a couple of Razor Leafs into a forward air. Now dash attack. Oh, the big up air almost moving, or yeah. almost uh, connecting. Oh, that was very smart from Spanky. Use the Pokemon switch to just avoid the grab from Kamehameha. Now tossing him right back out. Yo, man, get him out of here. Let me get the stage. I like it. Switch to Ivasaur the minute he sees Kamehameha make, make the small approach here. Able to come back on the stage, coming me approaching with those pellets, but I mentioned it. Ivysaur's got those disjoints. That's just one thing he has over Mega Man in the mid range. His mid range definitely has a little bit more disjoints. He sets himself up for a downer, and Kamehameha still off the stage, not able to breathe, barely surviving that interaction. Yeah, getting hit by his own clash bomb. I don't know if he was expecting that, or if he just tried to use that to his advantage, but a big forward air. Spanky in this game, taking the first stock. Yo, man, Team Japan might have a loser here in the loser's side. This might be an upset here, and Spanky looking to make sure he's one step closer, able to use that roll get up and avoid the back air from Kamehameha. Good option. That's one thing you always want to do is mix up your recoveries, but Kamehameha oh, not okay. afraid. Oh, my God. Yeah, expanding that jump. You know, Definitely want to stop all your momentum from going into that blast zone, just hanging on with Max Rage Charizard, but Nair going to push Spanky to the other side of the stage. Oh, the big back air, and almost whipping. Oh, <laughs> get the tech chase. If that was ever a moment for a flare blitz, that was it right there. Yeah. All right, unfortunately. Oh, my God. Flare Look, blitz. I'm flare blitz. 
Nah, you gotta be careful. He wants he wants a little bit more percent on coming before he commits to something. So no, wait, he'll never suspect it. This is the perfect opportunity. <gasps> Give it to him. <laughs> Okay, got the Crash Bomber on Charizard. He has to hold shield that buys Kamehameha enough time to come back on the stage. Okay, Nair, and using the Pokemon Switch, avoiding that forward air, but now we have a Squirtle. Okay, yeah, get Squirtle out of there. Just the slightest of, <laughs> slightest of breaths would get that turtle out of here. Yo, tie this man out. and Okay, nice. Gets the Metal Blade here, and he gets a little bit of spacing for that Vimer to come back on the stage. Spanky avoiding all of the projectiles so far. And I like that. Retreating to the ledge. He knows that Kamehameha is approaching with those forward airs. It finally lands, and, uh, you know, after taking 96%, he is, Kamehameha is able to clean up the stock, but bringing out that Ivysaur, he's already at the correct percent. Get the Ivysaur back out on the field. Yeah. Making that switch to the right character, like I mentioned, the mid range, Ivysaur a little bit more of the victor here. Using that Razor Leaf, trying to condition Kamehameha the same way condi Kamehameha conditioned Spanky. I want you to hold shield, I want you to get back. Mm -hmm. it's just retreating back to these ledges, and it's actually interesting because both members of the. Uh, both players are okay with retreating to the ledge and like almost giving up stage control. Yeah. And they just go back to this projectile war of Metal Blades, Lemons, and Razor Leaf. Yeah. Razor Leaf definitely a really big victor here. Oh, that's oh. down there. Good interaction there, but Kamehameha snaps right back. If Spanky needs to take the stock, it needs to be now. Gets a down throw, and he waits for the opportunity, but he goes for the reverse Mind Whip. Yeah, no Mind Whip spot. not finding its mark again. Oh, oh, and dropping down. He knew exactly the the path that Spanky was going to take with his tether grab, but answering right back with an up throw from Charizard. There's a reason why he's a super fighting robot, man. He's quite the heavy Call machine. him a Dragon Slayer instead. Cause this Charizard's getting taken for a ride, but that fire tail, that tail whip from Charizard is enough. Yeah. Now we have a game three last stock situation between Spanky and Kamehameha. Nice, gets the grab, immediately into the down air, and goes for a solid combo. This puts Kamehameha off the stage and gets a little bit of a corner carry, and now Spanky looking to close the gap that he had set out there with a quick withdrawal. Mm -hmm. The one thing that I do want Spanky to start doing is just be careful every single time he's putting himself at the mid-range because now Kamehameha with Squirtle, mm -hmm. because Kamehameha is able to take over that versus Ivasaur and, and Mega Man. Yeah, and I like the way that uh, we're seeing like the adjustment from Spanky to use uh, withdrawal. Mm -hmm. Because before, you know, he was trying to approach with it. He was getting slowed down by lemons, and then he was getting punished because it just had so much lag. Now it's using it almost like an escape tool. It's like, get me to the other side of the stage. I can reset over there, and then, you know, we can we can continue. We can resume the game. But now bringing I, out Ivysaur. I do see Spanky going for these aerial razor leaves, but I kind of want to see him stay a little bit more grounded because can maybe can make the call out with an aerial lemon or a back air. Okay, getting that, using that ledge pressure with a vine whip, you know, very safe uh, tool for Ivysaur. But getting back, back throwing to the other side of the stage. I think that platform actually messed up Spanky. Down, Down throw. throw. No, oh, there no. goes the aerial. Where's the jump? Forward air still living. And this is switch to Charizard moment here. And he goes extra oh. low. Buys time with the Vine Whip. Here's the Charizard. But the Metal Blade and the back air will seal the deal. Kamehameha with a stand up and a hug, man. He says, you played well. You yeah. played well. Very, very close set. The third seed of the pool going up against the first. Yeah. Spanky showing, 